week, huh, fam? So, it's been a summer. So, we are down to the last con planned for the summer. I'm heading to Dallas to the Dallas Fan Expo. So, happy for y'all to come on this journey with me and let's go see what's happening at the Fan Expo. comic fam so oh I forgot how much of a run around to get that badge is and had to go to several different lines and now I'm finally going over to the merch booth into Frankie's Comics is set up here. If y'all have not checked out Frankie's Comics and you go to frankiescomics.com, I know y'all checked them out already. They've got the uh, Ultimate Fallout variant covers. So go to frankiescomics.com, pick those up. And here is the owner, Kevin. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Man, so you're having a good show so far? Uh, I know it just yeah, opened. It just, it just opened. opened. Just uh, opened. It's going well. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good to see folks. And get outside. Get away from COVID. There you go. All right. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You have a great day. Hey, Con fam. All right. I think I, I just tried to record that and I did photos, so I'm stupid. But I'm here with Sam Taylor Rose. I'm so still here. Thank you, sir. I am still here. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm still here. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> Gore's been on Lethal Tractor. I can't believe I just did that. But thank you, everybody. I got some great books coming back for you guys. Hey, Con fam. I know a lot of y'all are Zombie Tramp fans, and I'm here with the premier cover artist. Bill McKay. <laughs> so, did uh, what did you say get over 50? 50, 53. 53 covers to Zombie Tramp. So, I'm going to be bringing back some uh, for you guys. Uh, so, those that can't make it to the um, conventions will get a little piece of Bill and his great, amazing artwork. So, hey, thank you for your kindness and generosity of being here. We really appreciate it. Hey, Con fam, one more. So, y'all might not have ever heard of this book, okay? And I don't think this thing has really done anything. It's called Stray Dogs. I'm not sure if y'all have heard of this book or not. But one of the artists, Tone Rodriguez himself, is here actually drawing. The, some of the, he's drawing some dogs there. So, super great guy, super nice. Hey, I really appreciate your time and generosity, Tone. I keep telling you it's not a problem. That's what we're not doing. So, we'll see you guys later. Later, buddy. Hey, Con fam. Shelby, I'm here with someone you may not even know. Someone named Jay Lee. I think he's new to the business, just starting out. But uh, this is Jay Lee. Hey, thank you. He signed some books for me here. Want to say hi. So thank you so much for your kindness and generosity and being here. Really appreciate you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Black Beat. tired Shelby I literally it is 550 here in Texas in Houston I literally just drove in from the con it's Saturday so I paid for three days but only went Friday and Saturday I have some a commitment tonight so I had to come back a couple people asked me it's like why are you coming back you know it was the con not any good and it's because of the commitment the con was great you know we started this tour in houston with comp palooza then we went to cowtown or cowtown first then comp palooza i don't remember now i think cowtown was next then i was going to go to one in san antonio it got canceled because of covid so we're back at dallas with the fan expo which was it was great i'd probably have to say this was of the three the better one i really like the way they organize things and set things up with um all the creators uh, along one side the back it's a little confusing to get around and everything and they had to scan your badge coming and going but uh, and otherwise you know is it a really great organized con the facility is a little confusing too great great con so anyway i'm show you all some of the goodies we got uh so we got the t-shirt so i paid for all the extras that included a t-shirt which is pretty nice got a little side logo there on the sleeve if y'all can see that and then the theme united by fandom so pretty cool uh they also gave away a mask so i picked superman oh then i got the big bag to put goodies in i also was able to get a deal on a lot of exclusives that i'll be passing on to all of you so i think of y'all while i'm there uh there's also a pen all right so here are some convention exclusives uh that i was able to score I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this with the cell phone this is limited to 500 copies batman 112 kind of a spookyish looking cover it's full really neat uh this is limited to 1500 copies this is also Batman 112, Wanted, like a little Wanted poster. This is limited to 500 copies. This is Kyle, number one, full. Then this is, this went really quick. This is limited to 500 copies. They sold out as I was standing there. I got the last two copies in the stack. Uh, this is Batman Zero really cool full sketch cover so i know that is sold out and i'm sure the kyle also sold out so they having some of those for sale uh for myself i picked up this really cool fantastic four number one fan expo unsacred number one this is a pastime comics exclusive limited to 500 i will be having these for sale 
Okay, so this is Mercy number one. This is also an exclusive, uh, limited to 500. So I'll be having some of these for sale. So I also picked this up from Pastime Comics. This is White Widow number two, the Sam De La Rosa black and white sketch variant, uh, which is an homage to Lethal Protector number two. I got them signed by Sam De La Rosa. Uh, very cool, very li this is limited to 100 copies. I visited Bill K, the person that did the art for Zombie Tramp, and got him to sign a couple of books. Uh, Jay Lee was there. So I got a couple copies of Department of Truth. I think this is number, I want to say number 12. Uh, but it's an homage to, of course, Escape from New York. And Jay Lee signed it there at the top. Another artist is there was Humberto Ramos, who's doing all the art for Scotty Young's um, Strange Academy. And so I had several things in my collection that I got signed. Uh, I did have a few extra copies, so I'll have one or two things. Most of these are going in my PC, but I'll have one or two. Like this one, I do have two copies of, so I'll be selling uh, one of those. This is a new one. This is a new indie book called Disputed Territory. This is an exclusive cover. It's also gold uh, embossed cover, and it's uh, embossed down here with the gold. So I'm going to have to do a little more research on this. This is Undiscovered Country, number one. This is also limited, I believe, to 500. And I was able to pick up some of these. I really love that virgin cover for Undiscovered Country. That is kind of it for sign books, uh, things I was able to get extras of, offer for sale, things like that. Uh, then I picked up several things for me, you know. I love y'all, always. I know several of y'all don't get chances to go to cons and things, and so I'm happy to be able to pick up some stuff, extra stuff from the cons and bring to you all. But, you know, Daddy needs to shop for himself, too. Here is my little stash that I picked up for myself. So let's see what we got in here. And I'll be dropping uh, as many links and stuff down below. Uh, these are some friends of mine, Grayer, Graham Cracker Comics. They're up in Illinois. They have about 12 locations. You've probably seen them on a couple of videos if you watch any people doing tours and stuff of comic shops up in the north uh, and northeast. Uh, they always drop by Graham Cracker. Uh, they're definitely an institution in the uh, industry. This isn't necessarily, I, I already have this book. Uh, this is World's Unknown, number three. It's in pretty good shape. It's not bad. But what's great about this is it has a double cover. So a printing error. One of the original variants. So I was happy to pick that up. For the PC. Another book, y'all know that I've talked about promotion comics. We actually did an episode on uh, More You Know Mondays, and this was an interesting promotion comic. So, this is Amazing Spider Man, uh, free with any purchase of any size, all detergent. This was just a beautiful copy. I'm gonna have to probably put it at maybe a VF. But a king size annual, Master Kung Fu annual number one with Iron Fist. So, very beautiful book. You know, again, it's not a collection I'm working on, but I picked out another first issue special, Starman. I just really like the cover and the logo. I always say this isn't a set that I'm working on, but I seem to pick them up when I find them. This is Spidey Super Stories number two. So, I have number one coming, a friend of mine, uh, T Pain. Uh, found a number one in his collection and I think we're gonna make a deal on that. This again was another beautiful copy. You can see the grade. Uh, they have it at 9.0 but I think they're gonna be a little conservative on it. This is Avengers Annual number four. Uh, this is Kirby and Simon um, artwork. That's the reason why I picked it up. But just a beautiful beautiful copy. Um, little Silver Age book there. And then 
for my PC. This is one I needed. It looks a little better than they have it as a 6.0. I think it could get a 7. Uh, it's got some issues at the top, but Tales to Astonish number 56 so giant man and uh the wasp appeared in the tales to astonish uh anthologies and it's just a really nice cover is, is uh one that i needed uh in the numbers that i was missing uh like i said it's got some issues there at the top but yeah i was very happy to get that okay <clears throat> so that is it for the PC stuff, we got a couple other things to show. Freeway, giving me all these lovings. All right, so hold on a second. So, wasn't all comics, I did get some toys. First, I've seen this around, it passed on it, but, um, and again, y'all have seen probably some of my uh, videos from almost a year ago where I say I'm not collecting this, but it seems like every time I find them, I don't pass them up. This is the Marvel Universe collection. This is Daredevil in the original costume. So that was really cool. The second one was another Marvel Universe. This is Jean Grey. Very ugly, ugly action figure. And it looks like, I think it's just like a flashlight or something in there with her. I hadn't seen the, the Daredevil you see. Uh, the Jean Grey, I, I don't think I've ever seen too often. So I was happy to pick that up. And then lastly, for the Fantastic Four collection, I think this is the last thing I needed for this collection, is this Fantastic Four Mr. Fantastic Sky Shuttle. I have all the action figures. I have the Thing Fantastic Car. I have the Galactus. So I think this was the last toy I needed in this collection. Um, so I have the small figures. I also have the 10, uh, 10 inch figures that was in here. Um, but I'm not real sure. I'm have to do some cataloging and see what I have. Some of those toys are actually uh, in the warehouse. Okay, so that's it for toys. Give me another second. So, also there, and I know y'all know about this guy. Frankie's Comics. Uh, so if y'all have not checked out frankiescomics.com, you needed to, to do yourself a favor. I know that um, a lot of their variants have been shown on like Comic Gains and they were there and they had some mystery boxes. So I picked up three mystery boxes. They also had the Miles Morales. Go check it out on their website. The um, Ultimates uh, Fallout number, was it three or four? Uh, the first Miles Morales. No, no one can afford that book right now. But they did a reprint and they have a special cover available. So go check that out at Frankie's Comics. Um, I'll just give you a little sample. And I think these mystery boxes are only available at the con. Here we go, Moon Knight number one. Check that out. <laughs> that is great. And it's 10 books and the mystery boxes were $30. So, oh yeah had this a couple times scream number one that's exclusive with Frankie and Golden Apple oh my gosh freeway do I taste good I know I need to go get a shower oh your tail knocking everything off that's a cool cool one I hadn't seen this X-Men number 12 a little rogue action looks like a bloodshot virgin oh this is crazy looking check this out teenage mutant ninja turtles number uh 88 look at that turtle oh that's scary i've seen this i love this cover I don't, I'm not, I don't think i have it in my collection so new mutants number one little white queen and um you know i love me some magic some iliana rasputin oh another crazy looking cover what is this death metal issue five look at that Oh, go check them out. See if they still have some of these available if y'all are interested. I've seen this and I hadn't picked it up either. Amazing Spider-Man number 62. White Spider or something. Tyler Kirkham after McFarlane. So another Frankie's Comics exclusive. Wow, check this out. So this looks like an Incredible Hulk 181. 
variant edition so that should be yeah the first appearance of wolverine oh let's get the regular cover on the inside wow check that out i have not seen that on their website man and then this that's cool too check that out wolverine number one a little homage to that cover of uh hulk 181 so man woof I should have bought them out of these mystery boxes. Oh, I did not get enough. That is some great stuff. Wow, thank y'all so much. I will definitely, uh, I mean, it's pretty easy to find them, frankiescomics.com. You know, go check them out. All right, let's move that out of the way since those aren't bagged and boarded. All right, the last little treat for y'all is I am, I made some new designs for shelbyscomics.com some new t-shirts designs and uh, before I post them I always get samples sent to me to make sure they're up to our standards and quality so here's a couple of variants alright so this is a design y'all seen before check this out in tie-dye I thought that was cool to get the mystical cat or colorful cat design and Shelby Comics on a tie-dye shirt. Oh, that is too cool. So if y'all think y'all be interested in something like that, you know, let me know and I can add those to the website. Wow, that's great. That's really cool. And this other design, I'm pretty excited about because this one should be a brand new design. Yeah. Okay, turned out pretty good, pretty good. So some of this art is uh, public domain. Y'all will definitely recognize the art. But I kind of put my own spin on it, did a little vintage touch, did it in Ringer t-shirts. So check that out. Very cool, vintage-y, faded out looking, amazing Spider-Man. Uh, again, this is public domain work. You're able to use. I'm not sure why, but it's on a public domain website. Uh, but yeah, with that Ringer style and um, just really cool, faded out and vintagey looking. So I haven't seen anything like that around for sale before. So definitely, I believe I'm going to be adding this to the website. Um, so that's some things that I'm uh, planning on doing is some non Shelby comics merch You know, I understand not everybody wants to walk around with a big cat. Although I got a lot of compliments on This and I had another guy stop me. I was standing there talking to Graham Cracker and I started uh, walking away and This guy stopped me and he goes are you Shelby? I'm like oh, yeah, duh and he's like, I know you don't remember me, but back in 1988, when you owned All American Cards and Comics in Twin City Mall in Monroe, Louisiana, I was like 10 or 12 years old, and I would come in there and buy comic books. What was, what was that? This is 2001, so 32, almost 32 years later. Am I doing math right? I feel like I'm not, maybe 29 years later. Yeah, meet up at a con in Dallas. Uh, he said he still lives there in Monroe. Found out about me through a mutual friend uh, that still does comics and you know said they check out my uh, YouTube channel and, and all that all the time. So I hope he, um, I'm so terrible with names. I hope he messaged me on IG and I can give him a proper shout out, but that was really cool to be able to, um, you know, make contact with someone that, you know, was a child and now here I am an old man and, um, you know, definitely haven't owned a store since 1993, but, you know, in the past year being back in the comic market uh, through YouTube and whatnot and eBay and such um, these people are reconnecting and, and it's really cool it's really cool definitely makes an old guy happy that some people remember me and uh, you know that I've been kind of part of their memories for all these years so anyway with that all hey thank y'all I hope y'all enjoy this video um, all the con footage and stuff please don't forget to like comment subscribe 
uh, come visit me on whatnot. I'll figure out how to do a whatnot link and stuff. Um, so y'all can go follow me and get notifications. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> anytime I go live. But otherwise, with that, Freeway, did you miss me? Did you even tell I was gone? No? Okay. Alright. But with that, we're going to say peace, love, and comics. Thank you all. Bye.